Hiya. I wasn't entirely certain when I got to on that example, but I ran out of time. Hopefully we got to the point where A was 40. And I was going to work out the sum of the seventh term. So N is 7, A is 40, and R is a quarter. So I want the R, I want the 1 minus R uh, equation. So sum to the 7 is A. Now I want 1 minus R, so it's 1 minus R to the N over 1 minus R. So the sum of the first seven terms are 40, 1 minus a quarter to the power 7 over 1 minus a quarter. Right, let's have a look then. So if you put that in your calculator, it gives you 53.33.33. There. there. So that's that one done. Um, right, so look at the second example then. So it says a geometric sequence is a first three term, that first, sorry, has a first term of three. So I know that A is three and a common ratio of two. So R is two. Find the number of terms which are less than a thousand. So this is the terms, it's not the sum, so be really, really careful. So I'm looking where UN is less than a thousand. So if I use a r to the n minus one, so I've got three times by two to the power n minus one is less than a thousand. So two to the power n minus one is less than a thousand over three. If I take logs, if I take log to base two, I get n minus one is less than log to base two of a thousand over three. And then if I add one to it, I've got n is less than log to base two of a thousand over three, and then I add one to that answer. There. All right, so let me just stick that in the calculator. So what have I got? So I've got, um, I've lost my log to base key now. Well, that's no good. Right, I just lost where the log to base key is. So if you do F4, so if you menu 1, do F4, and then if you look, F2 is log AB. So if you press that, it brings up a log with two little boxes. So it's log 2, log to base 2, so I've got a tiny 2 in it. And then in the blue brackets, I've got a thousand over three, and then I've got plus one on my calc. So that gives me that n is less than 9.38. So at 9.38, it's dead on. But it's, you want a whole number, don't you? So what I'm looking for then is the ninth term. So that's the first one, which is less than, or the last one, sorry, which is less than a thousand. Right then, let's have a look. Right, the next one then. So it says, part B says, find the least value of n such that the sum of the first n terms is greater than a 1,000. So I want the sum of the first terms is greater than, sorry, from 10,000. Right, okay. I know that, that a is 3. I know that r is 2, and I want to work out what n is. So because r is 2, I want it as the r minus 1. So I'm looking at a, r to the n minus 1, over r minus 1 is greater than 10,000. There. So a is 3, 2 to the power of n minus 1, over 2 minus 1 is greater than 10,000. Okay. Right, so the bottom there is just going to be a 1. If I divide through by 3, I've got 2 to the n minus 1 is greater than 10,000 over 3. So 2 to the n is greater than uh, 10,000 over 3 add 1. Do logs again. Do log to base 2. So n is greater than log to base 2 of 10,000 
over 3. This time, your plus 1 is in your bracket with it. Right, so let's get back to finding it on our calc again. So it's F4 for math, F2 for log AB. I put a 2 in the base, and then I've got, being really careful, 10,000... Um, over 3, yep, add 1, so that gives me 11.7, so if n is greater than 11.7, then I'm saying that n must be 12, so at n is 11, uh, the sum is less than 10,000, at n is 12, it's the first time it's over 10,000. And I think that's the second lesson done.